Hey guys, just doing a video for a set of Corsa on the PC, adding the mods for tracks and also vehicles from racedepartment.com website. So one thing that I've done to help myself out, and you should do this as well, it's a little tip. On your desktop, load up a little uh, folder for your Steam apps shortcuts so you can easily get into it other than going through all your uh, My Computer File directory. So common, a set of Corsa, and then it's all in there. And we'll be using that a bit later, so we'll just minimize that. Now, the other thing that you'll need is you'll need some sort of unzipping tool like WinZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip, RAR opener. I've got RAR opener. It's all right. Um, you may need to get 7-Zip as well if some files are um, that kind of type as well. So, Next step will be to go to your internet browser. Go to racedepartment.com. There are other websites that you can that you can go to, but I just go to this one here. It's pretty good. I think all of them are on here anyway. If not, they've got some sort of link that always links back to Race Department anyway. So go to Downloads, down here to a set of Corsa. Scroll down a little bit, a set of Corsa tracks. We'll be doing a car a little bit later in the video. It's, exact, it's almost exactly the same. So we'll do the track first. Now you can either scroll down here to see all the different tracks and go through it all, or you can then try and sort them by the downloads or the ratings. So we'll go rating, and we'll go one of the tracks that um, I don't have, so Spielberg here, so click on that. So once you're here, you can then have a look around. They've got the photos, they'll have all the information about the track. You keep going down, they might have some more photos. They might have a YouTube uh, video, so here's one here. You can click that and have a look at it. Further down, and you can see the user ratings in relation to how good it is. now. They often update the, the uh, tracks as well, so go up and have a look at the version history. And you can download from either here, so the top link there will be the version history, that'll be the most recent one, or you can download from just down here on the uh, red bar, download this mod. So you click that there. Once it comes up, hit the OK button, it'll download. I've already done that on this track here, so when it's done, you just go up to your little download icon, you extract it with whatever extracting tool or software you've got, the unzipping tool. Once that's done, you'll extract it to a folder. I've got a specific folder here, just in uh, AC Downloads, Tracks, and then Spielberg. Now with this one here, you need to double check. Not all files do this, but some, some of them do. In this one in particular, it has a subfolder. So if you just add this into your Assetto Corsa file, it won't work because what will happen is it'll read the folder just underneath this one, and it won't actually get the track data. So what you need to do is Minimize the background, go into Spielberg, first folder, and this is it here. Now to just double check, double click on that, and you'll see all the details for the track, which is really good. Now to double check that, what you want to do is you want to go to, so you get your Steam Apps, Common Drive, Set of Corsa, you want to go to your Content folder just here, and you want to go down to Tracks. Now just double check one of the tracks and see if this is the correct folder. So open up, and that was exactly the same as the Spielberg there, so therefore we're in the right folder. So when you go back to your original Assetto Corsa Steam Apps folder, just go back to the actual content folder and you've got track selected, grab the track and add that into just there. Now I've already done it there, replace, that's fine. So basically what happens is that'll then load it into your Assetto Corsa track map and that then allows your track to then be grabbed from that folder and you can select it in your game. Now, same deal with your car as well. So if you have a car, you go to Race Department, you go Downloads, a set of Corsa, AC Cars, and again, you can go through all the different cars here. And the beauty about this is it's all free. It's all done by people in the community that do these mods for it, and it's fantastic. So you get free cars, free tracks by people who put in the time to actually do it, and it's really fantastic. Can't thank them enough. Again, go to however you want to sort them, by the rating or by the downloads. You can see how popular it is by the stars, and you go down and you select whatever it is. Now, just say, for example, you select one of the cars. There was the Ferrari. Here we go, the Ferrari 288 GTO. So you select that, and it comes up with the info again. So you go down, you scroll down, you've got the info, you've got the YouTube, and then also some photos maybe, and also all the way down, you'll have user reviews on how they like it as well. Once again, if you want to, you can go up and check the version history and hit the download button there, or you can simply just press the red download button here. So you press the download button there, 
Okay, so I've already downloaded this one, so we're just going to cancel that. I'm going to minimize that. And this one is saved under a set of courses in the vehicles. Now with this one here, again, double click on it to double check. So you've got two cars here, 288 GTO and the 288 underscore GRB. Click into that, and that is the content for the car. So you click back. And again, when you're going to select it into your set of Corsa content folders, make sure you go content, and then you go cars, and just to double check on what it actually looks like, find one that's actually been done before. So just pick one there, and that's how it all looks. Now I've previously done this as well, so what you do is you you just input that, and we've got it right here. So the Ferrari 288 GTO and the GTO underscore GRB. So we're gonna close that. Make sure it all works out. So we're going to go a set of Corsa and wait for this to load up. Okay, so now that we're going to test just to make sure it all works out, go to main menu, steering wheel for drive, practice. Now we've got the track to check that we've already got it. So we've got it right here, Spielberg, select that. And then with the car, it was the Ferrari and it was the 288 GTO. So we've got that right there. So select that there, hit start. Now what this does, it's loading up to the track. When it comes up, you'll see that you've got the free car and the free track, and it's available for you to then do offline, practicing, online, multiplayer races. If your friends need it, just send them the links um, and then just walk them through on how to actually load it into the game as well. It's super easy. And boom, there we go. So we've got the free car right there, track's ready to go, and that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you got stuck on any part of it, just leave me a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helps you out, I'd love it if you click that like button and I'll see you in the next video.